Hello, pals. I am blind today. I was sitting here before stream and my contacts just started like absolutely destroying my eyeballs. So I have my actual glasses on today. Um, so if I take them off, I will in fact be blind, but they need to be cleaned. So I'm exhausted. I have no energy today. Like absolutely none. I'm like half asleep right now. There was a massive fucking thunderstorm here last night. And I woke up 3 a.m. Never went back to sleep. So. I tired. But I still wanted to stream and like hang out. And there's uh, the PlayStation State of Play starts in like two minutes. And I want to watch that with you guys. Um, and also the direct was this morning and I've avoided spoilers. And if anyone spoils anything for me, I will in fact destroy you. But yeah, we're going to watch those together. Uh, that's the plan currently. Because uh, 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 uh. I like reacting to stuff. <sighs> going to destroy me. Yes. No, I just mean that because um, I haven't watched the direct yet and we're reacting to it. So if anyone destroy, like anyone spoils anything, I'll destroy you. That was the uh, that was the destroy. Not going to destroy you guys for being here. Hadn't seen it. Yeah. I I haven't either. We're going to watch it after we watch uh, PlayStation State of Play, which starts in like four minutes. I had planned on leaving work early so that we could chat before just like hopping into the state of play. But um, that apparently is not what's going to happen. So we're just going to pull it up and wait. Two minutes and 50 seconds until it starts. I sincerely do apologize if I'm like mega low energy today. P emulates its inspiration so closely All right. it feels like someone else let me know if uh, strings a little too forcefully volumes are good show, and all that still shit a lot of fun to join in we're on IGN's channel it's both praise and criticism to say that Liza P follows the blueprint I have decaf coffee just to kind of like give me a tiny little boost but I don't want to drink actual coffee because I want to be able to sleep and doesn't this look like bloodborne yes that looks like bloodborne that's bloodborne too designed with difficulty in mind I'm excited to play that game script that it got to the point where I'd meet a seemingly friendly character and think ah this is the one who's going to betray me later with full confidence that I was spot on in that assessment there's even a major boss with the same name and rough appearance as a Dark Souls boss which is honestly just kind of hilarious one of the I didn't know that. that does set itself apart, though, is with its story, which is a dark reimagining of Carlo Collodi's Pinocchio. You know, the story about a mischievous puppet known for telling falsehoods and longing to be... I hated Pinocchio growing up. It freaked me out. Hi, Cribbages. I hope you're having a fantastic day, gamer. 
I'm like, I might take a nap. I might get cozy, comfy. I need to get like an ottoman or something that I could put my feet on under my desk to be like ergonomic and shit so that my knees aren't so bent all the time. There was a Sims trailer that dropped today too. I reacted to that. That video will be live on the uh, YouTube tomorrow. Should probably sleep. I should probably sleep also. How's it going? Good. I'm just sleepy. I got no sleep. I've been awake since 3 a.m. So I'm like, I have no energy for life today. So we are, uh, we're watching the state of play. Instead of, yeah, there was like really, really rough thunderstorms here last night and it, just no sleep. Yeah, pretty much. It was, I, I guess, rolled over and like s punched Smurf in the face because I was half asleep. And he woke me up to try and like get me to be like, hey, are you good? And I just couldn't go to sleep after that. So, hi, Drac. It's good to see you. How are you doing, gamer? Hope you're having a good day. Happy PlayStation State of Play. What do you mean starting in five minutes? It was just starting in five minutes. I just got really loud. Could you not? How's the volumes? Is it super loud for you guys too? We do love our counting. We do love counting. We can count down together. Nine, eight. I think we might be, I don't know what our counting record is, but we might be about to beat it if we haven't already. Have the volume way up because my kids are loud. Okay. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I promise that I want to be here today. I feel like I'm, like, just zero energy. I'm not masking very well today. So. It's just a trap. I can only count to four. 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 I can't count no more. What? I can't count no more. Hi, Sebastian. Hello. How are you? I'm trying to see what our score, like what our high score in counting is. Because I think we almost beat it if we haven't already. While we wait for the state of play to start, even though it was supposed to start five minutes ago. It's fine. Everything's fine. I just this it's it's like the Nintendo Direct but for PlayStation. It's like the hey, this is what's happening in Sony for the next quarter ish. Okay, our high score is 466. That's our high score in counting is 466. So we're almost there when my hair gets so long. I I feel like it's been long. I just always have it up so y'all don't see how long it actually is. But I mean, it's like, I don't know. Or if I have it down, it's curled. It's like below my, it's below my collarbone. I want to cut it off just so that like, 
I can even out my bangs because I had front bangs and I'm growing them out and I just don't like having bangs. Hi, Derek. How are you? My beard's almost out. <laughs> Your beard's going to be longer than my hair soon. How are you? I'm, I'm you today. I'm you today. I got no sleep. I've been awake since 3 a.m. I'm tired. I have no energy. So we're doing low energy shit and uh, and reacting to, <laughs> to things. Gonna be the grandpa to get some sleep. I know. I'm I'm most likely gonna do just chill, short stream, react to these things, and then like go to bed. <laughs> But I still wanted to stream and say hi and like experience these things because I've never like I've never reacted to this stuff on stream before. And I thought it would be fun. So. What is it? Always watching you, Wazowski. Always watching you. Ah, uh, yes, because I too, but, uh, oh. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Gross. Uh. What the? Okay. No that is me most mornings, yes, actually. Well, yeah, that might be a problem. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What is this ASMR mud slapping game? Oh, okay. oh. 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 oh, that sucks. What is this? Oh. So drag. Post. Why is it? Post. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tree. And up. <sighs> oh, Not actual gameplay. Mike, are you okay? Oh. You look sad. Oh, hey, Mike. No, no, no. no. That's sad. I was just taking a break from my run. So road's out. Yeah, road's out. But no worries. Grapple point. Oh, See? Grapple point. Oh, I'll just grapple. I'll grapple it. Yeah, just grapple it with a grappling hook. Oh, yeah, I'll just grapple that fucker with my grappling hook. Yeah, no worries. Just grapple that fucker. Oh, I'll just grapple that fucker. Yeah, good. All right. Well, slide out. What is this? Uh, Redneck Rick and Morty? Uh, yeah. I'm so yeah, confused. Was, what the oh, hell is happening? Uh, Hi, really Apple. Like oh, this is bad. Okay. All right. Only down baby steps. Hi, I'm Sean Benson. Here at PlayStation, our team is always on the lookout for creative, inspiring, and original games to bring to PlayStation players around the world. We are constantly canvassing game development studios as we search for the next exciting idea. And as you just saw, Baby Steps is a great example of the innovative spirit that we're looking for. In today's state of play, we've got a wide variety of games to share with you. My hope is that these demonstrate the diversity of experiences coming to PlayStation consoles and PSVR 2. On that note, I'm very excited to welcome PlayStation players to Roblox. This infinite variety of 3D immersive experiences is making the jump to PS4 on October 10th. Roblox features Roblox full cross-platform right support, so you can join 66 million daily active users across PC, mobile, and other platforms. We can't wait for you to explore millions of experiences together and to see what you create. All right, let's dive in. 
starting with a look at two great games coming to PlayStation VR 2. My sister was big into Roblox growing up, so. Welcome to the Ghostbusters. You might be new labor. here, but we no. have a job to get done. The city isn't going to save itself. So get geared up and join the team, because working together... Go, go, go. I feel like this is so fucking loud. The best chance. We got it. You'll have Why is it so goddamn loud? Busting gadgets, if you can earn them. We're talking turrets, shields, decoys, and so much more. Throw your trap. Whoa. I am up. I'm picking up something. Hi, Nick. Whoa. Oh, thank you. I forgot to do that. Thank you. You'll need to be ready for anything. Here he comes. Before you'll be ready to take on the ghost world. <laughs> Ghostbusters, Rise of the Ghost Lord. Oh yeah, and these guys, mini puffs, they can be a real pain in the... What in the hell is that? Thanks, I hate it. No fucking way. This Resident Evil? This looks like Resident Evil. RE5 remake? Oh, RE4 VR. Yeah, it does say VR. That's a good point. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? Cribbages was right. RE4 VR. Re4 DLC. Likely she's in this village. I'm seeing increased movement from Los Illuminados. Don't get careless. Copy. Ada out. What Jinx. actions will be done in its name, and who will pay its darker cost? Find Lewis. Not the bear trap. Fetch me the amber. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? Because in this world, someone always pays. There's someone who needs me. Best not to ask who or why. It's what I researched for all these years. Yeah, Jay, that's what it looks like. The it's just the Ada version. Rights. I still haven't played. RE4. I guess I need to do that in anticipation for that. I am not me. No. You are what I made you! I was abducted by the RDA and trained in their ways. For 15 years, they kept me from my world and my this people. This avatar? I have no interest in this. You have the mark. You are Sorento. The I feel like they, like... Talked about this in the last state of play, and I just I must it does not interest me. Teach me the ways of the not be. I don't like Avatar. Avatar is so problematic whenever you look at it, like and actually look into the themes of it. I won't hurt you. No. CJ probably would like it, yeah. CJ likes shit like this. I agree, Psychic. I don't get it. You are starting to think like a Nazi. 
It's not, no, it's not a good movie. It's really bad, actually. Visually, this is stunning. I will give it that. Visually, this is stunning. However, that's it. I will not allow the RDA to Pretty colors. This is my home. No obtainium. Yeah, I'm like, I have no fucking idea. I was like, they went there and they pulled a fucking Pocahontas and tried to take over a native tribe. Don't you dare. What is the point of this? This is not games. I don't, I don't, I don't want this. I want the games. Yeah, it's just different colors. Of, like, PlayStation covers and... controllers. How is that deeper? Hi, I'm Yuan Bielestad, CEO and Creative Director at Arrowhead Game Studios. And today I'm pleased to share an extended look at Helldivers 2. We're starting on the ship's bridge, preparing to select our mission from the galactic war map. Once cleared for mission engagement, it's time to go what into your this, knock off Star Wars? and prepare for planet fall. Today, we join a squad on one of the many planets in the galaxy, set on an important mission to eliminate a deadly bile titan. The first one okay, was fun. to find the terminate bile titan. Uh, I think it's this way. There's some enemies here. Okay, I'm covering you on the right. We're covering your rear. Oh, there's loads of them. I'm switching to flame for Oh, oh god, there! Oh, it's the bile titan! Oh, I died. Reinforcing. Oof, I have to run. No one talks like that in comms. No one talks like that in comms. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> nah, it's odd. Ah, motherfuck. Can you guys Son of a fucking whore. Yeah, you motherfucking bitch. Reload my uh, recorders. On it. Oh, I got the enemies on my back as well. Oh, there's a charger here. I'm gonna take out the brute commander. He's, he's charging me. Don't fuck it up, you we fucking take out piece the of shit. Alright. Riddle Stop being way. a fucking dumbass. Nice. I'm gonna thin out the crowd a little bit. What the fuck are you doing over there? I'm getting my ass handed to me. My guard dog is taking care of the little ones. Oh, oh! I'm throwing out the strafing run to try and take out the small guys. Uh, oh no, you killed me! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, is that just One me? Got it. Is it better when my mic is like this? Or is it better when my mic is okay, like should this? We do something? Should we strategize? 
I'm, I'm drawing his attention. Alright, I don't think I have enough. One or two. We need to throw in the 500 kilogram bomb. I'm throwing it out. Oh god, uh, he's coming for me. Getting out of the way. Or can you all tell the difference? There okay, we go. there we go. Good okay, good second one. Good job, guys. Well done. Can't Hell tell the difference. Another win I'm just for watching my audio levels. After each successful mission, players are rewarded for their efforts. And it looks like I'm not much louder than the game. The ship, and so I'm trying to. Weapons, armor, and strategies, giving them the edge in the Exit. many battles to come. I hope you enjoyed seeing a glimpse of just one of the many missions and planets the game has to offer. Now go out there and spread managed democracy. I'm Autumn, okay. I don't... That didn't show me anything about the... Spooder Dooder! Senior Creative Director of Insomniac Games. Thank you for all of your amazing feedback so to our the showcase earlier this year. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is filled with an amazing story and story missions. Dooder. But today I'm here to provide you with a first look at how the open world experience is evolving and how the game is built to take full advantage of the PlayStation 5. The first thing you'll notice is that our city has nearly doubled in size with the addition of two iconic New York boroughs, Queens and Brooklyn. Oh, and we've yeah. introduced the web wings, an entirely new mechanic that, when combined with web swinging, allows you to traverse the city in a whole new way and at faster speeds than ever before. Whether it's a neighborhood backdrop of Queens or the fireworks that light the sky deep. of Coney Island, I agree. exploring these areas it's will been feel a lot much of different than the towering skyscrapers of Manhattan, meh. while also delivering memorable locales like Peter Parker's old stomping grounds in Midtown High and Miles Morales' current place of learning, Broken Visions Academy. Hey, Miles, what's up? Speaking of our heroes, Marvel Spider-Man 2 will introduce the ability to switch between the two wall crawlers in the open world. And thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5, you can make that switch almost instantly. Delivering a bigger city and playing as not one, but two spider heroes were big goals for Marvel Spider-Man 2. But this time around, it was equally important to provide a greater sense of exploration and discovery. As you progress through the main story, a number of new activities and storylines will become available. The majority of those will now be represented by visual cues in the world that grab your attention, such as a flock of Kraven's Talon drones circling a building, a mysterious symbol projected into the sky, or even an unfamiliar spider bot ping emitting from one of the rooftops. Many activities, like the hunter's cloaked blinds that overlook the Big Apple, lead to even greater challenges, yet yield worthy rewards and new information about Marvel's greatest hunter, Kraven. Others will lead to a climactic showdown with Marvel villains not yet seen in the Spider-Man universe. The Spider-Heroes have new AR I tech in the lens of their masks, I love providing Venom a quick so glimpse of activities already discovered, or helping locate new ones yet to be revealed. You can always refer to the upgraded Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app to quickly track nearby areas of interest. The app will also include incoming requests from those who call Marvel's New York home. Some will ask for either spider hero to help, while others, like the students of Brooklyn Visions calling upon Miles, will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities, including crimes you stop from the game's various enemy factions, also now feed into the new district progress system, which even provides more rewards and unlocks our brand new fast travel system. As you can see here, the PlayStation 5 and its SSD means you can move across the city with very little downtime. Finally, the more city you explore and the more activities you complete, the more ways you'll be able to customize your spider hero. This includes mastering additional combat abilities and traversal skills, acquiring and improving gadgets, upgrading through the new suit tech system, and of course, That's unlocking cool. additional spider suits. And we're talking lots and lots of suits. Hell Marvel yeah. Spider-Man 2 will feature over 65 suits from the comics, movies, and multiple original designs. Spider fashion. And thanks to the all-new suit style system, you'll now have more than 200 different ways to outfit your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> My swipe errands. I'm a lev, how are you? Games, we couldn't be more excited about what this expanded city has to offer Jesus. and all the new ways you'll experience Marvel's New York. We look forward to seeing you swinging around in Marvel Spider-Man 2 when it launches Event October 20th, cool. only on PlayStation 5. <laughs> Looks like you get sort of a Venom ability. Yes. I'm so excited. Good. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I got like no sleep. I know I'm going to keep saying this, but like I'm just, I feel bad for being so low energy, but 
I've been awake since 3 a.m. One year has passed since the end of the great conflict between Dana and Rena. What? And so, our journey continues. There she is! Don't let her get away! After Who? her! They? Them? The gang's all here. Who is them? The hell she did? She's a monster! The truth is that people will always doubt, hate, and reject. What? <laughs> the tails. What we call destiny is neither visible nor tangible. I haven't Yet, either. It is as certain as I've never the played a tails game. And converging of the past and present. I called out to you and you came. The future is like a labyrinth. Every divergence what? is merely an inducement. There is only one real path. Oh, I've seen people wearing tails. I have also seen people wearing tails at conventions. I, I don't know what this is. You and I are each other's destiny. Oh, Honkai. Hey, man, Star, Star Rail, Having a whatever. great time? I hope you're all ready for the Is this allowed on Twitch? Am I allowed to? The fantastic four versus four party. This TOS. There's, there's a gambling. This is TOS. And knock out the opposition. Two insanely fun game modes. Smash the star! Whoops. Defeat the star player to win. Happy Bat Survival! Dominate the, the arena in teams of two with support from your allies on the outside. I'm oh, sorry, I, I got no sleep. Characters hit the stage! Soa! Cotton candy throwdown. Jet justice. Spewing cotton candy out my gun. The barista door. Ray breaker. Penguin. We'll see you at the Foam Stars Open Beta Party. That was from Square Enix. We've been Square Enix did Foam that. Stars, and we can't wait for you to get your hands on it. The open beta kicks off later this month. Before we wrap up, Square Enix has one more update for us today. They're hard at work on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the ambitious follow-up to the critically acclaimed Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's see what's in store for one of next year's most anticipated games. Wait, why? The world ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. The sky... I don't like it. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome... What? ...to the New World Order. Fire! Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can Final Fantasy VII for the eighth time. Am I the same as these monsters? Am I even human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth. 
you say. So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! That's a big snake. Come on! On me. I don't get it. Why are they making Final Fantasy VII for the 18th fucking time? I don't get it. The last remake was a part one. Why? Why? Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. That's dumb. A weapon? Two delirious creatures. Said only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. It's like they, what they do whenever they do that shit with movies. It's two it's parts. No, but fuck yourself. The reunion. Just put it in one when part. Merge, or make it two different movies. I'm waiting, clown. You <laughs> just dump your drunk friend on a random street. Technically, you do that whenever you put your drunk friend in an Uber. Just saying. We hope you enjoyed that new look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's coming to PlayStation 5 on February 29th. And that's all for State of Play. Thanks for watching, and that's we'll see it. you next time. That was lame. That could have been an email. That could have been a post. I thought we were gonna get some more lies of P information. I was like, where's the Assassin's Creed information? Nope. Oh, right, sorry, here's five new suits. Pardon me. Whoa. Uh, all right, let's find the direct. Streamed six hours ago. That's the correct one. Uh, this one's 40 minutes. All right. Honestly, I would say that let's talk about the state of play, but there's nothing to talk about. That was boring. Let's watch the direct. <laughs> yeah, Spider Man's all I cared about, too. It was a Splatoon or something. But Avatar, I don't, I don't care about Avatar. It was visually cool, but like content wise, it was dumb. What is this, like the evil within? Why is everything white? State of Nay. 
state of could have been an email. It's Splatoon. Travis will be excited for that. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. <laughs> the voiceover is so... You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. Oh, We're no. developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in Spring 2024, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. The toys are back in town. Donkey Kong. Mario. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. With his eyes on the prize, Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges <laughs> await. I'm sorry. Action are he vital stole to the success. toys. <laughs> Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. What the fuck? That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across and safely grab the key. I mean, like, it looks fun. It's just... Platform too high? It, it's it's, it's a platformer. Or a it's, a, it's a Mario like platformer. That. It's just funny. Like, the way that they're presenting it is goofy. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. Like it's just goofy. You it's just to goofy. Your way through. It's up to you to recover the toys. <laughs> Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February Local 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Save the prince and the world. Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the Prince of Persia series, this game features 2D, side-scrolling action-adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological this looks like Persian Prince of Persia world, Hollow Knight. Don't it just looks like Hollow Knight. The mechanics are Hollow Knight. Sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip you mean to further boost like a normal video game? Other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world. That looks like a Dark Souls boss. The mythical beasts that stand in your way. So is that. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th. <laughs> Magical. You can receive the in-game Warrior Within outfit by pre-ordering the Aladdin game first Nintendo yeah. eShop. I agree. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up chase this dick. Arcade Racing in Horizon Chase 2. 
speed through stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style, while overtaking your rivals on the road. Chase these nuts. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses, and more. You can also upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs. Itching for more racing action? No. Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal in couch co-op or online. Go full throttle in Horizon <laughs> L. Chase 2. Launching on Nintendo <gasps> Hi, Switch. Hi, Fergie. Today. How you doing, gamer? Warm up for musical we'll have a good day. I hope you're less adventure. tired than I am. I think that's what I'm saying to everyone today. To solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Up to four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. He's a smurf, yes. Anya Forger has a new assignment from school, creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. <laughs> the fuck is On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum. In search of subjects to photograph. Apparently, you're smart. How will you smurf. spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches Getting on Nintendo sick again. Switch oh, no. next year. Mario's first RPG adventure oh, returns. Like the the Super Mario RPG game is back Android. with updated and graphics. Then. Let's go over some new and returning Oil gameplay the features. Some water, put the ginger root, Time your button presses with action commands water. to increase damage dealt or decrease Take it damage down to received. A simmer, let it simmer for like when you time your attacks minutes, perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Water with uh, your favorite tea and like your favorite Every tea successful out of it. action command Trust. will fill this game. Removes all information. When it's full, you can unleash the three character trick. It's really move. spicy. I will say because it's very Depending genuine. on your current party, but the move will change. So we'll experiment with different combos. Everything. I know nothing During about the original Super Mario RPG, bosses, but I'm excited to be able to play this. Personalities. Cross After beast. clearing the game, you can fight some of them she again. Play the Wii, man. But these I have, powered up I have bosses three. aren't yeah. going to be easy. I, st I have it. I just haven't <clears throat> played it. Watch out. Love you. Set off for adventure with Mario and friends when Super Mario oh, RPG I hope you guys, I know Germs was saying that he was feeling Switch better and then feeling worse 17. again, so I hope y'all pre-orders are available now. Feel less like shit. Hey. Uh, uh, look alive. I did not play the Mario Rabbids We're game though. <sighs> The Nintendo DS game Trace Memories. Are you having an orgasm? On the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Oh, seeking oh. answers. She like, ma'am, for the chill. solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. These noises are. Can you see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? No matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Puzzle game with sus oh, anime noises. The sequel, I like I like a good puzzle R. game. I love puzzle games. Lost memories previously unreleased in North Doing America on is also included. So this I mean, is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to I feel like Switch has like a good variety of games. I'd, I'd say they're worth it. Fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch when another code, Recollection, launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Another code recollection includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel which was never released in North America. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. 
Please look forward to playing them early next year. Next, no, please take a don't look tell at me this. what to do. <laughs> oh, is this the Peach game? One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer He said, "Please, I'm a brat." Theater. The wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Oh no. Now it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, uh -huh. Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Stella Sour Bunch. Stella looks like Lisa Simpson. <laughs> You're not wrong. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So oh, let's no. do this. Whoa, Peach transformed into Swordfighter Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Has Bend Peach ever been in a different outfit? Play. Can Peach save Peach this performance boots. and its performers? There are Fired. more stolen shows to save. Fired. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become in Cat Peach. Mario. Oh, I haven't played Cat Mario. I still don't own Cat Mario. I don't think it. I own Cat Mario. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn I, like I always put it on my and list, from but never buy crash. it. The Sour Bunch got their hands <laughs> on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach, showtime. Makes its debut you. on Nintendo Switch, March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I mean... That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. The game looks cute. A multi-layer RPG know. full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man who fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. Oh, do you know this? I've never heard of this. A crime fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. Need another take with more enthusiasm. A songstress This is all the enthusiasm you get today. I get I have none. And I have zero enthusiasm to give. Was recently reawakened. I have yawns. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 uh, fuck me. worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Saga Frontier with your jam. Fighting timeline battles, turn-based combat- That is a giant kitty. Is crucial to victory. It looks like a giant These house cat. That's kind of terrifying. The order of actions, or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. One hour and still got another. Saga what are you talking Beyond about? Launches on Nintendo Switch next year. <laughs> That's only on the Saturday. Raider returns. What? The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. As the fearless archaeologist Lara Croft, you'll travel the world and face off against deadly foes. Okay. I'm actually really excited for this because I have never been able to play like the original Laura Croft games because they're not really available anywhere. And they were some of my mom's 
favorite games. And so I've never been able to experience them. So that's actually really exciting. I'm and excited for this. Your legends. Climb, backflip, and swan dive through perilous quests spanning different countries and mythologies. Those, look, Along the way, those visuals are fantastic. Puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. That's cool. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Where's my Switch? I want to see how much it is. I want to see how much it is. To re log in. Poop on you. I have to do this like every time. I want to know how much it is. It's only 27 bucks. I'm totally buying that shit. Pre-ordering it right now. I thought it was going to be like 60. Nah, 27. I can get behind that. I'm buying that shit right now. <gasps> Hi, Bacon. Welcome in, gamer. How are you doing? We're having a good day. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Pay via PayPal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm. All right, I can move. I can continue my life now. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Mm. Oh, Every Detective great Pikachu. Detective starts their day early. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Mm. Every great detective starts their day early. One more time. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Every great detective starts their day early. Why does he sound like he smokes a pack a day? What the fuck? This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. He's he seen some shit, for Pikachu real. And his partner, Tim. That's not Ash Ketchum. Various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people, Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow Sense with Growlithe. I mean, this looks kind of fun. Smash Rocks with Darmanitan. It looks kind of fun. And peer through walls Not gonna with lie. Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. That Watch looks kind of cute. Nintendo Switch, October 6th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. This game's a real toot. Yeah, I don't... 
your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique. And mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. Trombone Champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Did you guys all experience that too, or was that just me? I feel like I just dropped some fucking acid or something. I don't know. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. I was like, I know I'm tired. I didn't realize I was that tired. That I'm ha having hallucinations. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first how I consoles feel. on Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console it seems like something you'd be Nintendo into. Switch later today. Later today? Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. Spring into action with easy pickup and play controls and a I thought that this might have been like a game that Smurf had been telling me about a while back that he really liked, but yeah, it was not the correct game. Powerful super attacks and a four-player co-op mode. Contra Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system. Operation who? Liberate your kingdom, reclaim your destiny. It is a grievous tale which speaks of Febreth, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. It's Yet as dramatic. the world stands consumed by immense evil. <laughs> Bubbles, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a good day, gamer. Ring of legend lighting his path. That is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal what? lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. It feels like a mo- I mean, it's- it's the Nintendo Direct. Freely traverse so it's not a mobile game. World. Gather new allies, forge your bonds, Allegedly. And lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters, from humans and elves to massive beasts and heavenly angels. It Today looks like a mobile game. Foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, 
months, or even years. But I shall see the duties of my blood. Oh yeah, some of them are very mobile. And I understood what you were saying you after I said what I said, and then I was like, yeah. Of tactical fantasy RPGs. Brain. Unicorn Overlord. Available. CRPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> Just thank you for the 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. There's more Luigi's Mansion? I still need to play Luigi's Mansion 3. Mansion. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. We're going backwards. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. I love these games. They're so fun. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Doggo! Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. That was such a Creeps weird way to phrase that. Switch next summer. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. What if I don't wanna? What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. That's not going to happen, we'll and you know more it. more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. Yeah, Nick, uh, sure. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. And Amiibo figures of I'll do that whenever I uh, hit the 10,000 average viewers. ...will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. That's all for today's Amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. No.
this, 1973? The first F-Zero game returns as a 99-player battle royale. F-Zero 99. <laughs> That's going to be Race so chaotic. F-Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. I can't even Tear snap. Through courses and high speed races. That was pretty good. But be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, this one's not as good. This is good. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Kind of hurts. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. That is just gonna be so chaotic. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. players one winner it's time to race your way to first place now because this is pod racing available exclusively for active nintendo switch online members later today oh i have that oh free download i have that years after its original release f-zero is back as a battle royale game this title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's no, continue. I'm gonna get like 99th every time because I suck at racing games. One little hero, one humongous problem. What are those? Are they cats? Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy they... beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little the too what? wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. That looks it's adorable. Up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City I back love together. It. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can it's like Stardew Valley upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. That was a little too can close to Stardew Gandal Valley. City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Oh. Wait, it's actually League of Legends. That? Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story. Launch you cannot say the word Nunu around me without me thinking of Teletubbies and instantly going, Nadi Nunu. That's a Nadi Nunu. Which is on the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Just say. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Greetings, welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. And Is that man okay? To a specific pose called a form. Copy the form shown. Then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand marble. The micro games will come one after another, so look Excuse alive. Excuse me? Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Three. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. 
with over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty. Everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes no into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Meet Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an officer from the Empire. And Marissa, a forest guardian. These Meet Noah, a humble villager. Crazy cool name. Sane, an Unique. officer from the Empire. Very special name. And Marissa. And Marissa. The Skyler sisters. Meet Noah, Angelica. Sane, an Eliza. And Marissa. And Peggy. Guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory. I can't and stop yelling. I'm so sorry. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, justice, and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch April 23rd. Participate in some pixel perfect play. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC Aww. for Eastward. Cute. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. Whip up what is that? Delights for your neighbors. Why is it flying? Store buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Stardew Eastward, again. Octopia, Stardew with flying animals. Nintendo Switch this holiday. Flying cows. Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, okay. you can now supercharge your commander's group to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Your conquest Battle mode. Friends locally Ooh, got him. Or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes. Yeah, there's a campaigns. lot of sequels to just like random ass games. War Groove 2 marches on to Nintendo in both Switch of them. as a console exclusive October 5th. Get Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. That's a narwhal. I need to get it. The final wave is racing in. Here's a sneak peek at Wave 6, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Nick, it's your from favorite. The Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave 6. From the Mario Kart Double Dash game, Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. And from the Mario Kart Tour game, Pauline. And also, Peachette. Wave 
Game 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. I'm a Yoshi main. Active Yoshi Nintendo or Peach? Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. No, no. Nick. Mixed Merriman. Something new is among us. Wait, Cribbages, are you Nick too? Jesus fucking Christ. You are Nick. I swear to God, like, all of my community was just like, let's all have the same name. dramatic. I have not played Among Us in like three years. This I didn't even know it was still Among relevant. Us is free and launches this October. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. You're welcome. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Why? We just... Oh yeah, didn't Pokemon DLC launch today? November 17th, Mario RPG. Goose Goose Duck is much better, I agree. Cute. We hope you're looking forward Lord. to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. No. I'm about to start crying. No.
Is this the best day of my life? Thousand-Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you'll look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring I'm gonna Mario scream. and friends. I'm so excited. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. I genuinely did not think we were going to get that. I so genuinely did not think that we would get Thousand Year Door. Because, I mean, it's been talked about for so long. And they just haven't done it. So the fact that they're doing it... I'm going to piss my pants. Yeah, the paper airplane was a mechanic before. So for context, that was like one of my favorite games ever. Um, it was like one of the first games that I ever played. I played it with my mom. That and Tack and the Power of Juju, as well as, uh, I think it was called like Sphinx and the Mummy or something like that. So, yeah. That game is, like, super special for me. That's how that, yeah, exactly. That's, I'm like, I'm, I'm super excited for, for Super Mario RPG to be able to, like, play that and then play Paper Mario that's on the Switch right now and then play, um, like Paper Mario in that order. That's super cool to be able to do. Was on this. I just. I... <laughs> I cannot believe that that they're doing it. They're they're giving it to us. Is Super Mario RPG available for pre-order? Yet. It is. You can pre-order it. Releases on November 17th. Oh, okay. I gave it to you the last direct. I definitely know that I want to play it. I just don't think that I'm going to pre-order it quite yet. Well, because I don't want to, like, get it and then wait a year to play it. Go take Emma out. Thousand Year Door is like all I care about. Thousand Year Door from that and then from State of Play, Superman, uh, Superman, Spider-Man 2. 
Super Mario RPG, cool. I'm excited to be able to play it, but I just don't know when I'll be able to. I Oh, I'm excited for the Tomb Raider as well. I'm telling Twitter about all my feelings. I don't know what to do with stream now, guys. Because I was like, I don't know if I have the energy to... exist. Hi, Travis. Did you see? Oh, no, you saw. I'm sure you watched it earlier. But I saw the Splatoon and I thought of you. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if I want to keep stream going. Kinda seepy. Could Baldussi. But I feel like Baldussi requires a lot of brain power. I don't know if I want to use brain power. You know. I just a sleepy little bean. Might just call it. So I can go take a nap or something. I might actually take a nap. Considering the fact that I just looked down and it's 5.30. And I'm... <laughs> I won't go bed. I'm, like, this was fun, though. I'm glad that we still got to hang out and watch these things together. I, I've never watched, like, a state of play or a trailer or anything like that on stream. I feel like it was fun. I might, I might try to do it for, uh, every time now. Because I feel like everyone's comments are always, like, my facial expressions are hilarious. Which I try. Like, that's just, I, I don't even, it, like, it's just my face. So, if y'all like that, then, then we'll keep it up. What? Do we want to go? Oh. Shinovi is on. We love, we love, uh, we love Tyler in this house. Oh, he's watching the state of play right now before doing some persona. Uh, great minds think alike. We love to see it. Love to see it. I'm sorry that my, like, I legitimately, am, I have no, I have no brain. There's no brain allowed right now, apparently. Apparently, getting four hours of sleep just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't do good things. There's raid message for subs, raid message for non-subs, go ahead and grab whichever one. 
you would like. Thank you for hanging out, friends. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube, I would appreciate it if you did. Because I'm like... Less than 100 subscribers away from 1,000, and that's a lot of people. I'm really grateful for that. Uh, if you'd like to join the Discord and count with us, you should, because it's fun, and we like to do that. And we have a Discord game night on Sunday evening. Probably going to do some Mario Kart, maybe some Fortnite, maybe some games. I don't know. I haven't decided. But we're going to play games. It's going to be a good time. And then, uh, yeah, that's what I got. Thanks for being here, friends. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was, it was, just, it was a fun time to sit and experience these things. And I'm going to go process emotionally the fact that Thousand Year Door is coming back. Uh, raid message. Love your faces. Bye.